Hey, I'm Starfax. I recently made an Ultimate Iron Man, and something I learned watching quest guides, they're not made for Iron Man. So this is the Iron Man quest guide. Hey guys, Starfax here with another Iron Man quest guide. Today we're going to be doing the Sea Slug quest. Only requirement you need is level 30 fire making. And where you're going to begin the quest is speaking to Carolyn, east of Ardon. So all you need for this quest, besides the level 30 fire making, is going to be swamp paste. Now there's a few different ways you can get swamp paste. You can either bring 43 GP with you, and you can buy it from the general store, or you can bring 14 GP with you and collect swamp tar yourself from the lumbered swamp. I'll show you where to get that in just a second. You will mix the swamp tar with a pot of flour, cook it on a fire, and it will give you swamp paste. So, first and foremost, we're going to show anyone who wants the swamp tar how to get the swamp tar. So, what you're going to do, you'll just run south of Lumbridge here, and it will be in the swamp. Now, I highly recommend just spending the extra little bit of GP to buy the swamp paste, but this is just an alternate way of doing it just in case you have any special restrictions on your Iron Man so these red dots right here you can go ahead and pick any of them up and it will be swamp tar okay so now we're going to discuss a couple of different ways how we're going to get to Port Cazard which is where we're going to get our swamp paste or your pot of flour if you decided to pick up your own swamp tar so we're going to just go in order from the easiest to the hardest so first things first, we're going to start with the easiest way, which is the fishing trawler minigame teleport. Now what you're going to need for that is level 15 fishing, and I understand a lot of people doing this quest are doing it for beginning fishing experience, so you may not have fishing experience. But if you do have level 15 fishing, this is the easiest one. You just go to the red minigame teleport tab and click on the fishing trawler and you will just click teleport and that'll bring you right next to the shopkeeper here in Port Cazard which is where we'll get the items to begin the quest the second way of arriving at this location will be using the Ardone Cloak 1 now this cloak requires the Easy Ardone Diary finished if you do not have that, then I will be showing a third way momentarily, which will by far be the longest way, as you will have to walk. But the second way would be to teleport to the Kandoran Monastery. And you will simply need to run south. And arrive at Port Kazard. The third option will be to travel to Port Saram, where I am, the southernmost dock. Speak to the trader crew members. You're going to charter ship, and you will go to Port Kazard. Now, this will cost a little over 1k, uh, so if you don't have the early money, there is a fourth option that is by far the longest. Now, as I stated before, this is the longest way, and... What it is, is taking the White Wolf Mountain route. What you will have to do is run by these level 25 wolves. So if you're a low level, you may want to bring some food items. Or if you have protection prayers, use protect from melee. Okay, once you're here in Port Cazard, you're going to want to go to the general store which is just west of the docks, and trade with the shopkeeper. Now if you brought your 43 GP, you will need to buy one of the swamp pastes. It may cost more depending on the amount that has been bought from the store. So if it's not at 500, which is the max, you can simply just hop worlds and find one that's fully stocked and buy it for 43 GP. And the pot of flour is what you will need if you picked up the swamp tar and how you make swamp paste out of that 
is you will use the pot of flour on the swamp tar, which will give you raw swamp paste, and then you can come and use it on this fire, which will give you swamp paste. Okay, now we're ready to begin our quest. So where are you gonna go for this quest? You're just gonna run north of Port Kazard, all the way past the Tower of Life and through Ardone, and you will be going just north of Witch Haven on the east side of Ardone. Okay, once you have arrived here, first thing you're going to do, find Carolyn, the lady dressed in brown, speak to her, hold down spacebar. She's telling you her husband's lost, she needs her kid, you can select option one. Okay, next thing we're going to need to do, talk to Holgarth, the man in green. He's going to need that swamp paste we just got. And he fixes up the boat during this cutscene with the swamp paste. And as soon as we're done with this cutscene, we're just going to go ahead and right click him. And we can now travel to the docks. Or the fishing platform. Okay, once we're here on the fishing platform, we're going to simply go inside here. The hut on the southwestern side. We're gonna talk to Bailey. While we're here, after we finish this dialogue, just go ahead and pick up the broken glass. And we are now going to need to go pick up some damp sticks, which are right here. Now we will need to climb up the ladder on the northeast side. And we are going to need to go talk to our boy Kenneth, who's hiding. So Kenneth is just hiding right back here, back behind these crates. Simply talk to him. He will say he wants his dad. He's not going anywhere without his dad. So now we will need to go talk to Holgard again and get brought to the island that this poor kid's dad's at. So run back down, climb down the ladder, talk to the man in green again, just right click and press travel. He will take you to the island where poor Kenneth's dad is stranded. Go talk to Kent, which is Kenneth's dad. Hold down spacebar. And he will knock a sea slug off of your head. Okay, now simply travel with Holgard again. We will need to go back to Bailey, who we spoke to at the beginning of the quest. Speak to her. She will give you a unlit torch. So what we're going to do, as soon as we walk outside, we're going to use the broken glass on the damp sticks. We're going to make a little magnifying glass, dry them out. And then you're going to rub together dry sticks, which will light your torch. Now it will be safe to proceed back up to Kenneth, so run to the northeast side of the platform. Climb up the ladder. We will need to run back, talk to our little hide-and-seek champion, Kenneth. And we are near done with the quest. Speak to Kenneth, and he will 
tell you he doesn't want to go with you, so you will need to kick out this repaired wall right here. Simply kick it. Now you will need to go back in to speak with Kenneth and tell him there's an opening. And for the last part of helping Kenneth out, you will go right here to this crane. Click rotate crane on this little control panel right here. And this will be your final cutscene. You'll rotate the crane around so old Kenneth will jump on and be on his way to safety. Okay, all that's left from here is to return to the quest start and turn it in. So climb back down the ladder to the main level of the platform. Ask Holgart to travel. He will bring you back to the mainland where you can once again speak to the lady in brown, Carolyn. And that will be the sea slug completed. You are awarded with one quest point, 7,175 fishing XP, and some oyster pearls. Thanks, bye.